We now have that GMA exclusive. We're getting our first look at a huge medical breakthrough. The first American baby was born from a uterus transplant. Now that successful birth is raising hope for thousands of women. We're going to speak with Dr. Ashton in a moment. But first, the incredible journey. What you're watching is a medical milestone. <laughs> For the first time in the United States, a woman has given birth thanks to a uterus transplant. All of us had tears in our eyes, and this little boy will stay with us for our entire lives. He's one of us. It was beautiful to, yeah. to watch. Born last month, the baby boy was delivered via C-section after his mother, who was born without a uterus, received a transplant at Baylor University Medical Center in Dallas last September. The woman is part of Baylor's uterus transplant clinical trial. She suffered from absolute uterine factor infertility, or AUI, a type of infertility affecting one in 500 women where the uterus is non-functioning or non-existent. Approximately one in 4,500 females in the U.S. are born without a uterus every year. It was very special to, uh, to look in the eyes of the mother. Yeah. Uh, she was told when she was a teenager that she would never experience this moment. And then all of a sudden you see this happening and you, you think everything has a meaning. The little boy is now the ninth baby born in the world from a transplanted uterus, joining the eight other babies successfully born from transplanted uteruses in Sweden. As part of its trial, Baylor has completed a total of eight uterus transplants, including the mother who just gave birth. While three have been unsuccessful, one woman is currently pregnant. The remaining four women are in different stages of the process. This birth and this boy is giving hope to all these females out there who has this type of infertility. And I think that's a truly amazing thing. And our thanks to Diane Macedo. We're joined now by our chief medical correspondent, Dr. Jennifer Ashen. You've been in tears over this, yeah. OBGYN you yeah. are and to have this kind of moment. A-U-I. Right. Let people know what that is. Well, basically most women who fall under that category are actually born with something, another initials called MRKH syndrome. So they are literally born without a uterus. They do have ovaries, so their eggs can be used. But the rest of this one in 500 number affects women who have maybe lost their uterus surgically due to a hysterectomy and they, they want to carry their own fetus. So you're talking about significantly a, yeah. a good number of women. Of course, always with something like this, there's right. some controversy surrounding it. Yeah, and really when you talk about uterine transplants, it, it falls under a different category than other organ transplantations because let's say heart, kidney, liver, you need those organs to survive, to live. A woman doesn't need her uterus to survive, obviously, um, but she does need it to give life in this particular way. And there are significant medical, surgical, financial costs involved. This is a procedure that costs hundreds of thousands of dollars right now. Um, and so there are people who say, is it necessary in a country like ours where uterine surrogacy is legal? In parts of Europe, it's not legal. But I think it speaks to the very powerful, compelling drive that some women have to carry their own baby. And the technology and the science is there right now that, that it is finally making that possible. But what are the medical and surgical risks for both the mother and baby? That's right, exactly, because in obstetrics we have two patients right. and you need to remember that with this. So basically with, the, with these type of women you're talking about uh, rejection, bleeding, damage to the surrounding anatomy for both the donor and the recipient, and then the need for u immune suppression temporarily because after delivery that uterus will eventually come out. And then for the fetus, risks of preterm delivery, uh, other pregnancy risks, and the baby does need to be born by C-section. Jen, this is your wheelhouse. You know this how is, historical this, this is, is the impact Robin, that is. And you've heard me talking about it since 2014. It's huge for reproductive health. It's huge for my specialty, OBGYN. And it's huge for families everywhere that want to become parents in this way. And for that very, very special family who delivered at Texas. This is really historic All for right. this country. It is. All right, Jen, thanks so you much. Bet. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.